Factory Direct Safety offers a variety of valves for their gas sampling bags. In this video, we describe the operation of the polypropylene locking combo valve. This valve is the lowest cost type available and is designed for general use. The polypropylene construction is quite inert and thus it is suitable for most applications except for extremes of high temperature or high chemical reactivity. The valve has a lockable sample port for connecting tubing and filling the bag with gas and a septum port on the side for access via syringe. This valve with the small dot lined with the lines on the side of the valve is currently in the closed position. To open the valve, grasp the stem, rotate counterclockwise slightly and push in. This opens the valve allowing gas to flow from the inside to the outside of the bag or vice versa. To close the bag, pull up, rotate the dot till it lines with the lines into the lock position. This seals the bag from having gas escape or enter. To fill the bag, open the valve by rotating the stem counterclockwise, pushing in. Turn on the gas supply and allow gas to flow. When the bag filling is complete, turn off your gas source, pull the valve out, and rotate clockwise to lock the valve. Remove the gas supply as necessary. Note that the valve cannot be locked in the open position, only in the closed position with the stem pulled out. When the valve is pushed in, it cannot be rotated, and the zoo is open. So to lock the valve, pull out and rotate clockwise. To sample a filled bag with a syringe, simply insert the needle through the septum port. Remove the sample and remove the syringe. The septum forms a tight seal even when the syringe is removed. The septum port can be reused several times but eventually will form a leak and the entire bag will need to be replaced. On a final note, to empty the bag, push in the stem to open the valve and roll the bag up from the end in such a manner so as to avoid folds and thus avoid fold forming kinks that might later result in a leak in the bag.